Uh, hello, I'm going to do a video today on a discussion I got in with somebody today. And this discussion was world or without rule of law or shit hits the fan. And the topic was what weapon would you want? What, if you could grab one weapon out of all your weapons you owned, what would that weapon be? And what you have to do when you're considering something like this, you have to look at all aspects. Uh, some people like shotguns, some people like handguns, some people like bolt rifles, some like uh, semi-automatics. I prefer semi-autos. Uh, I prefer the 223 or 556 chamber. And there's all kinds of opinions out there about what you would do if you could only take one weapon with you. And I own all kinds of rifles, handguns. Uh, I own shotguns. I'm not a big fan of shotguns. Never have been. I've got some shotguns. I've never, never even shot them. But I just, you know, I still have them. And so what you have to do in a situation like this, you have to look around for what capabilities a weapon will do. And that can be multifaceted. Whether you're close quarter combat or if you have to hunt or defend yourself or if you're at a distance. I mean, you have to take everything into account what would be a practical weapon you also have to take availability of ammunition you know, there's certain guns out there that a lot of people own so ammo would probably be available or you already have it stockpiled like i do so we talked about this for a while and my conclusion after all this was if i could take just one weapon with me i would take probably the first ar i ever owned I, I like ARs. I think for all-around multi-purpose weapon, it's probably the best platform out there right now. And the one I would take would be the only AR I've ever bought that I didn't build or put together myself. And that would be this. This is a Rock River Arms Entry Tactical 5.56 M4 Profile. And I've had this gun probably close to 10 years now. And uh, I've done a few things to it, but it's basically as is I bought it. I mean, I did put, I put a surefire light on it. I do have a front pistol grip for it. It's not on here at the moment. Um, I don't run optics on this. I just run open sights on it. And for me, this would be the most practical weapon to take. Uh, you can defend yourself with it. If you have to hunt, get food, you can use it for that. Uh, it's good in close quarter. Uh, it's not a really big rifle, but to me, this would be the all-around perfect weapon in a scenario like that. Um, like I said, I've had this gun about 10 years now. I've never had any problems with this. Well, I take that back. Uh, the, the trigger malfunctioned on it. I sent it back to Rock River. They sent me a new trigger. Other than that, I've never had an issue with this gun. And you can see, for a 10-year-old rifle, it's still in really good shape. Um... But in a scenario like that, for defense and whatnot, I just feel like this is the best platform all around for defending yourself or whatever scenario might arise. Uh, this is basically pretty much the same weapon that the military uses. Uh, it's not an auto, but it, essentially this is what the military uses. Now I know they're talking to switching over to a different platform right now, but for right now this this is still the weapon of choice and this has been around since the early 60s but if i had my choice of weapons this would be what i would take now the other thing about this is they come in all different configurations the ar platform rifle now you can do just about anything uh this is one i have i built up uh the only difference pretty much between this and the other one is i got flip up sights on this and it's got a 20 inch barrel 20 inch stag barrel on it but other than that it's you know they're, they're the same same configuration a couple minor changes here and there to it but other than that they're they're identical uh another example of a ar rifle this one i just completed i don't have sights on it yet but this is a 300 blackout i just completed so you can get them in a different caliber too if you want the ammo for selection for this is a lot more limited than say for the 556223 so this might not be a good weapon to choose because of the availability of the ammo for it but for me if i had my choice 
and I could only grab one weapon, this, this would be what I would take. This would be my weapon of choice. I'm open to feedback from people. I know a lot of people out there like your AK-47s. I've personally never cared for the weapon. I don't I don't own an AK. I probably never will own an AK. That's kind of why I went the route with the uh, 300 Blackout. But for, for what this weapon is capable of doing and what you can accomplish with it, I, I just can't see anything better out there. I mean, I know there's going to be a lot of people that might debate this, but... In my opinion, out of all the guns, and I have a lot of guns, this would be the one weapon that I would pick up and take with me if I could only take one weapon. I like the range of it. I like the capability of the round. I like the capacity of the magazines and the availability of the ammunition. I mean, you have to take everything into account when you're considering this. A shotgun, you're not going to really do too much with it at a long distance. This, I'd say 350 meters, you're probably still within range on this. Um, also the barrel length allows you so you can uh, do close quarter with it you don't have to worry about having a huge long barrel on the thing it, you can get around corners and maneuver well with it and you can also hunt with it I mean there's no you could take down a deer with one of these so that's just my opinion on it and we discussed it and he's an AK guy he would take an AK-47 I can kind of understand that with the reliability issues with it and basically bury the thing in the ground and dig it up and still use it. Uh, but I I like the a AR platforms. I Like I said, he likes his AKs. I like ARs. So it's a matter of opinion. What you like, what you're comfortable with. But for me, this, this weapon here would be what I would choose to take with me if I could only choose one weapon. One weapon only. You can't take a handgun. You can't take a shotgun. Nothing else. All you can grab is one gun to take with you. This is what I would select. This is my personal choice. Uh, I love this gun. I've never had, other than the trigger issue, I've never had a problem with this weapon. And I don't even know how many rounds I've fired through this. I don't shoot it as often as I used to because, obviously, I've got a lot more ARs now. Um, but I still like this gun. There's nothing wrong with this weapon. It's got the two-stage trigger on it, and it's... You know, it's got the quad rail on it now. It didn't come with that. I put that on there. It's got the Surefire Light pistol grip. I'm just running open sights on it. No optics. But even with the open sights, this thing's very accurate. So, people out there, you know, feel free to respond to this video if you want. Uh, like I said, this is my personal selection. This is what I would choose to take with me if I had my weapon of choice. So, I'm interested to hear feedback from other people as to what you think of my selection if you agree disagree and if you do disagree what would uh, what would you want to take with you but me personally this is what I would grab this is what I would take so feel free to comment on this video and let me know what you guys think